I'm Johnny, and this is take number three, because I love you that much. And I want to get this as perfect as I can. So guess what we're going to talk about? Perfection. I know I talked about it last time, but it's something that's worth talking about again from a slightly different perspective. In the first video, I talked about why the first draft was important, and it was almost a go to get you started on something. Now, this is a go to get you to release what you've got. Now, this topic actually came out of a conversation on the Facebook page. So thanks to Troy for uh, helping me out on this. If you want to join the fun, come join me on the Facebooks or in the doobly -doo. It's pronounced doobly -doo. I'm a Canadian, eh? So there's this line. It's between shit and perfection. Sometimes the line is razor thin. Sometimes it's a vast chasm. If you work too much and try to get it too perfect, then you're going to overproduce the work, kind of like watering a plant too much. If you underproduce the work, the same thing applies. So you have to find that middle zone. This is the reason why I like releasing on a strict date, because it gives me practice on finding where that line is. Sometimes you're going to fall short of the mark, and sometimes they're going to be just right. But the best way to figure that out is to practice, and so that means releasing some crap once in a while. Michelangelo, not the Ninja Turtle, was reported as saying he knew his work was finished when it looked like David. So the work is done when it's done. Duh. There's a little more to that. You kind of need to learn when done is done. And part of that learning process is just releasing stuff so you have a better idea of when done is done. Knowing when something is ready to be released is like any other practice. You have to put your time in and you have to fail a lot. Think of it as your shitty first draft at getting it perfect. It's like drawing a line in the sand. Part of this is also knowing what to cut. When you overproduce a work, sometimes you have to cut shit out. If you're constantly releasing stuff or sometimes just putting stuff away to work on next week, next month, next year, then it gives your brain a little bit more room to work on new things. This is where your love of the work is going to get in the way. You need to focus on your overall craft, not that little piece that you're working on. It's better to have a multitude of works out in the world so they can get feedback, so you can get critiques and interact with it rather than it being stuck in perfect limbo. Just get it out there. One of the most interesting things that an artist can do is to remix and revisit their own work. And that way, they can see how they have grown, but the fans can also see how they have grown. Heck, I can't wait to redo this video for the fourth time. <laughs> okay, couple of quick notes about collaboration. Note number one, I'm trying to explore some ideas on collaboration and how to make that happen. I've got a few ideas. I'd love to hear of what you guys think would be a great way to collaborate. Maybe we work on a song together. Maybe we start a wiki. I have ideas, what are yours? Let me know down in the doobly -doo. Second thing about collaboration. So I've built this cute little bunny web toy. Go check it out. Build yourself a cute little bunny. The first 16 cute bunnies get to be part of a special collaboration. So send me your bunnies. Finally, I've got a link on the website. Show me some love. This doesn't require a credit card, okay? Although it can if you want. These are ways in which you can support either my videos and or my music. Until next week, collaboration is fun.